Hi guys, uh, this is Hector. Uh, today is uh, Wednesday, the 5th of September uh, 2007. Uh, it's about 10 to noon uh, London time and I've just uh, triggered short entry on the New Zealand dollar against the um, CHF based on a setup on the 30 minutes chart, uh, which is the chart that you are seeing right now on my screen live. Um, Injury price right there, 0.8396. Um, Ian, and I'm going to uh, what well, I'm going to try to explain uh, what I'm seeing on my charts. All right. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, you see that we have, or I have, uh, two uh, orange lines drawn on my on my chart. If we zoom into the four hours, or, or actually, yeah, four hours. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see that better right there you see that uh, triangle it's a massive triangle on the four hours time frame on a zoomed out uh, um, four hours time frame you see that okay that's a massive triangle that uh, it's just let me zoom back in Oop, uh, I've just moved my my lines <laughs> all right uh, no worries there all right um, it's just broken there to the to the downside. Okay. Moreover, if we uh, zoom into the uh, so uh, sorry to sum it up on the four hours time frame, we have uh, a triangle that's broken to the downside. That's giving us a down a down bias. All right, uh, for the time being, since we have a, a formation, a long term formation that's broken to the downside. Okay. Right. Let's go to the thirty minutes chart. Well, what are we seeing here? Uh, we are seeing those beautiful moving averages all uh, pointing down in order, parallel to each other, etc., etc. Uh, you know, the type of moving average formation I like to try it. Okay. Moreover, uh, this breakout, the breakout of that triangle that I was mentioning before happened throughout the Tokyo session and we can see that uh, uh, in the first half of, uh, of uh, today's London session, okay, uh, we've seen the retrace back to um, back to resistance levels which in uh, we have uh, at that level the dynamic area of uh, of resistance we have the counter trend line meaning the uh, former triangle bottom we also have the 61 percent uh, fibonacci um uh, fibonacci retracement etc etc okay so uh, uh second uh, factor on uh, favor in a short we are bouncing of resistance uh, of an area of a confluence of resistance okay remember first element for a short was the triangle breakout uh, to the downside on the longer time frames second uh, on the uh, in the 30 minutes chart we are seeing a bounce to the downside in the direction of those lovely moving averages okay uh, so we are we are also favoring i am personally in this case uh, 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 favoring uh, a short entry here it's just a matter of finding uh, the uh, the proper uh, entry um, signal okay uh, so since this is the 30 minutes chart, uh, this is my setup chart. I'm gonna uh, move into uh, the uh, my trigger chart, which in this case is the five minutes. And uh, what I'm seeing here, this is the bounce I was talking about before. Okay, the bounce of the uh, uh, triangle bottom. Okay, and the retracement. This is a retracement I was telling you about, guys, that happened throughout the first half of London. Okay. Uh, this is the retracement trend line of that retrace. Okay, this is actually a channel. I, I, I usually just draw the uh, the uh, the trend line, but it's actually a channel. Okay, it's a very clear retracement channel. Right, so um, we break that uh, triangle. Okay, oh, sorry, that triangle, that trend line to the downside. Okay, up on the bounce, uh, up on the breakout of this channel, uh, we get the breakout. The Pullback, uh, retesting breakout levels, 
breakout levels we retest them once again there and uh, and it holds okay that uh, breakout level holds the retracement and then uh, so we effectively have the uh, breakout pullback continuation pattern that I usually like to try it you are probably guys bored out of your mind seeing me trading the same thing over and over and over isn't it uh, but uh, what, what can I say? Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's the, uh, the the way I trade. So I, I repeat the same tools uh, day after day after day. Anyway, so as we just made a new low right there about five uh, about seven minutes ago, actually, uh, I triggered my my short entry here. Okay, right there, uh, 083.96. Um, stop loss in theory should be placed up here, but that would have been just a 12 pip stop loss, as you guys know. Um, as I repeat, uh, as I state on my course uh, in the in the stop loss section, I don't like extremely tight uh, stop losses because, uh, quite frankly, any random barb on the chart may uh, may knock you out of the trade without uh, having given the trade an actual chance okay a real chance so where a stop loss should should have been placed there I've decided to give it another another 10 12 pips up here okay um, what about targets uh, let's zoom back out into the 30 minutes chart uh, targets uh, uh, I'm gonna take half of my trade uh, uh, I'm gonna take this trade as an intraday trade and also as a massive triangle breakout trade so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit half of my position out as if it was uh, an intraday trade um, at the next round number 083.50 okay right there um, shooting for about 40 pips uh, for this first half of the trade and then what I'm going to do uh, if we go back into a zoomed out, zoomed out four hours time frame um, I'm going to uh, let the second half of the trade, uh, uh, well, basically, you know, uh, run to its full potential target, considering this is a triangle breakout, okay? The way I personally uh, try triangle breakouts, uh, I mean, the way I personally measure the, uh, the, uh, the target is to grab the widest, okay, distance uh, within the triangle and then I add it to the breakout point and it takes me all the way down to 0, 0.75 double O. So uh, this is effectively uh, like at uh, an 800 uh, pips. Okay, I tried. This is going to take days, okay, perhaps weeks if it is to uh, to actually give me that much, but I think it's worth a chance, okay. Uh, I could easily exit out, uh, um, uh, I mean, take this trade as an intraday trade. Um, but uh, well, you know, um, uh, I think I think it's worth the chance. Okay, uh, I'm gonna move my stop loss to break even uh, once I take half of my position out, and then I'm gonna take my chances. Okay, see if I can squeeze a massive uh, a massive run a home run out of this trade, and uh, if if that does happen, okay, like I said, it's gonna take a few weeks. Uh, but if that if that does happen, it's gonna be 800 pips uh, in my pocket and just. The, uh, this trade in itself uh, may pay off uh, for the whole month okay one thing I don't like about that uh, about keeping this uh, this trade open uh, um, in the long term is that uh, well I'm gonna be scoring negative ne negative swaps uh, every day okay remember this is the New Zealand dollar against the uh, CHF um, if you go long uh, you bank uh, you, 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 the, the swap for this currency bet is quite nice. You mean I, I mean the uh, interest uh, rollover, um, uh, um, you know, bonus. Uh, the differential in between the uh, the uh, interest rates uh, from the New Zealand and, and the uh, the New Zealand dollar and the uh, Swiss franc. Okay, it's positive. The difference is positive towards the. Uh, New Zealand dollar. So um, if I go short, I'm definitely gonna be uh, be charged every night. Uh, uh, well, you know the uh, the swap by my broker, but uh, I don't care. I'm um, you know I, I think it's worth a chance. All right, guys, I'll keep you updated. Bye. Hi guys, this is Hector. A quick update to let you know that I've taken uh, half of my position out as uh, planned. My first target has been met at zero eighty three fifty two. Um, I'm moving my stop loss down here 
two here to get a little bit of protection from the uh, from the round number uh, but like I say nonetheless my first target has been met at uh, plus 40 pips okay I'm gonna let the second half uh, run uh, like I say it's gonna be a long-term try so let's see how it pans out I'll keep you updated all right bye bye